The one and only Xylophony here for a Structure Deck Showdown. Mario and I are taking some just plain, boring, blank Structure Decks and taking them head to head. We'll start with a little bit of Fire vs. Water with the onslaught of the Fire Kings versus Fury from the Deep. And I'm going to be running the Fire, he's going to be running the Water. I don't know why mm -hmm. he chose the Pokemon type that's good against me, but whatever. That's fine. <laughs> you know, I didn't even think about that, honestly. Every time, Mario, every time. Um, Let's see how this but goes. The reason is because Konami's going to be hosting a few, like, Structure Deck tournaments because they want to try to get some of the new people in that isn't going to be, like, straight competitive or... Basically, yeah. the people who have been in it for many, many years don't automatically win against the new guys. <laughs> that makes sense, because definitely as someone who's kind of, I'd say, middle ground of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, um, every time I hear new players trying to get in and them just seeing the meta, it's just daunting. It's it's a lot for people to come in and understand, so I can see. They're doing a lot of stuff to, uh, you know, allow new players to get into the game into a happy place. Reload. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of Legendary Ocean. Powerful mm -hmm. monsters start things off at least. Looks like my stuff is, uh, well, just a lot of random fire stuff. So, what do I got with this? Not a lot. But, uh, hmm. That could be somewhat useful. And, what's this? Okay, that's gonna take a tribute. So we'll start with setting the card. And, I guess this wouldn't hurt too bad. Sure, might as well use the card. Hand destruction. Oh. I will toss away. Gee, this I wonder card, what two cards in my yeah. hand I can throw away. Hope you didn't need them. Oh, actually, it looks like it was a, a win for you. Very nice. Let's see. That's not going to be of any use right now. So, I'm going to summon the Flame Tiger in attack mode. Very simple. And let's see. I think just to spice things up a little bit. Um, you know what? We can save that and we can go for the Burden of the Mighty. Since you're level 4, it'll lower your attack mm. by 400. It doesn't lower by 400 since he's currently level 3 because of Legendary Ocean, but he still cuts oh, it down okay. by 300. So just enough. You may be yes. a more powerful monster, but I have Burden of the Mighty. So I'll take it. Burn of the Mighty. This is one of the few duels where Burn of the Mighty is going to be super annoying to deal with. Yeah, because these cards, they're not like heavy Can combo, they're nothing crazy, but. You Can I stop drawing a Legendary Ocean? <laughs> hey, at least I let you refresh one of them. Come on. Don't blame the deck. I keep drawing it, though. <laughs> hey, it's kind of the point of the structure deck, isn't it? I'll banish my two Ooh. monsters to summon a Fenrir. Okay. Go. And the bonus of this one is when he's summoned, you get to skip your next draw phase. Oh, that's lame. Wait, what? Let's see. Du -du 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 -du. Oh, it destroys an opponent's monster yeah. by battle. Okay. Which can be, I think he was a part of an old lockdown deck, actually, now I remember. Because that seems like a thing Konami would include yeah, back then. Possibly. Um, I guess let's just try to hit you hard. Um, we're going to. Summon Royal Firestorm Guards. I think that'll put my Power Monsters back from Grave into the uh, deck. Uh, thing is, there, well, there's not four of them. So, let's just uh, go to battle. We just put them out isn't for the he, power. Is he good for the Volcanic deck, actually? Yes, and I actually do have one of the Volcanic cards in my hand right now. Uh, but obviously, oh. didn't bump into using it yet. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been the right time. But yeah, this deck definitely looks like it'll be usable with a little bit of burn action. Yeah. Yeah, but all the ones that, you know, yeah, you send to the graveyard, burn your opponent. This will put them right back in your deck to oh. continue their use. Hammer shot. What's that do? To show the monster on the field with the highest attack. All right. <laughs> Helps you out a little bit. Let's see. What's my play here? That's no good. I think it may be time for Call the Haunted. And we... Oh we'll my! Bring the hazy flame out. Oh, hazy flame! You know that's an archetype people that our audience has been wanting to try out, but I've never found like a proper way to use them. Oh uh, yeah, I, I don't know much about them at all. I know. Um, did one of us have pyro during one of the fight clubs? Um, I think someone did, and they regretted it deeply, <laughs> or they disliked it deeply. 
Yeah. Um, I think it was... Someone had to use Volcanics. I think the only other option was Hazy yeah. Flames. And even the Volcanics in that situation, we're just not going to cut it. I think it was Dan, actually. It might I think have been. he was the one. Because I remember he had to use, like, a heavy Volcanic Burn deck. Like, a bunch of traps that burned. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just play this and end. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see what let's see if you can finish me off. We'll certainly try. We'll just go for a basic old attack and see if that happens. I will attack you at 2100 Darn attack Darn it! Points. Why didn't you summon? I had Torrential Tribute! Well, <laughs> I will say because I was being smart and conservative and uh, not summoning more than I needed to finish you, but I just didn't have another monster. Darn it! But no, I probably would have been conservative anyway. You never uh, know. Right. Yeah. Rematch. Uh, hopefully I don't draw all, all three of the field spells right away. No, you're not going to draw a single one this game. That's how it goes. How did you know that? <laughs> well, of course you're not going to have one in your opening hand unless you're going to get all of them. Come on. Understand how fate works. <laughs> all right. Let's see. That can be pretty cool. This can be all right. I think. Do we play slow to start things off? No, we might try to mess with you a little bit. I don't know what you're packing. So, let's summon a UFO turtle. And... Yeah. We're just going to pop this on the field right now, because we have it again. There's no reason not to play it. Wait, no. All right. Uh, this time, I'm getting rid of that card with a dust tornado. Ah, very nice. That's the reason not to play it. Well, I guess you would have dust tornado it whenever I did play it. Yeah. So that's fair. Not that it would have any uh, effect on this. We'll just attack. Either we'll lose some life points or we'll take some off the field. Mother Grizzly. Okay. Jeez, destroyed. <laughs> what, a, what a matchup. UFO Turtle, Mother Grizzly. Like, same effect on both. Yeah. Just fire and water. Uh, let's see. Which one do I bring out? That would have literally been my alternative play. Ooh. UFO Turtle in defense instead. There you go. Ooh, that's really... Use that monster's two tributes, that's fun. Yeah. Oh boy, Daedalus. Yeah, okay. you remember Daedalus? <laughs> yeah. It's never quite Daedalus. good enough to be in any of my water decks, but hey. People have been... He's always on a suggestion when making a water deck. People like mm -hmm. to put out. Alrighty. Well, UFO Turtle has his own effect, fortunately. Mm-hmm. And let's see. What do I want to special summon? Let's see. Volcanic counter. I think that's one of the things that helps burn would things. Been so bad if I burn of the mighty was still in here. Seven stars. Twenty six. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. The tougher they are, the bigger they are, the tougher they fall. Mm -hmm. but let's see. Um, this is decent, but I don't think I can chart it up well enough. Let's see. What about this? You know what? This is a big play. I will summon Little Chimera. Okay. Ah, oh, that is Fire monsters me. gain 500. Water monsters lose 400. So I can make a difference of 900 points on that thing. Problem is, I need that to stay on the field and me to bring out something strong to deal with that situation. Mm-hmm. Um, and Ken... Don't I, worry, little Chimera. Eventually, you'll become a useful Link monster. Mm-hmm. Let's see. That one's not the answer for right here. But honestly, this simply is. I will normal summon the Flame Tiger. Oh, jeez. Just enough. That little Chimera was absolutely the right choice. Gravity Bind! Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, you had to stand on your own foot, but at least it didn't get chopped off. Alright, alright. Not bad. And now, obviously, Little Chimera is in a very vulnerable position. Because it's not a powerful monster. Well, I can't attack anyway. No, that's what I'm saying. You know, you're hurting yourself, but you're also saving yourself at the same time. True. If you had another monster that, you know, could be Little Chimera. Because 1100 is not much. Mm-hmm. I just need something that's under four to attack with. Yeah, exactly. I definitely have a lot of fours in my disposal. Mother Grizzly. Yeah, still can't attack. I'll have to end. Alright. 
Let's see, what'll this do? Okay, so that could be a later play. I think we'll just, uh, continuously... Actually, no, this is decent. I summon the Raging Flame Sprite. Battle phase. It can attack you directly. Oh. Thank you for setting me up with that gravity bind, sir. <laughs> oh, right, and I can't unagain the power. Uh-huh. This is a, an unfortunate position you're in now. I will end my turn there, plain and simple. Well, I would be worried if I didn't have a way out. Okay, great. I tribute the Mother Grizzly. Mobius the, f the Frost Monarch. And you can pop the destroy my own. Very nice. First, I'll destroy the little Chimera. Smart. Then I need to destroy that Raging Flame Sewer before it powers up even further. Yeah, probably. Very nicely done. All right. That hurts. Yeah, could have done a play to set me up a little nicer there, but, you know, Mobius was a good pull for you. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I can special summon this. Target one fire monster and destroy it. Then each I can special summon them. But then I'll still die. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. During my standby phases, I can special summon a fire uh, token. Wait. Yeah, so I can do that. And then I can tribute... Yeah, it's just I have a card that can hit 27, but I don't know if it'll work like that. What about if I summon this guy? This I can hit 2,000, so that's not an answer. And I have had my Fire King, High King, Avatar Grunix the whole time. Just no way of actually using him. Yeah, it's not like you have a two... There's, it's not like the Fire Tiger counts as two tributes. Yeah, so I guess we'll just do this and see how it works. So he will destroy this thing. And, oh yeah, since I haven't normal summoned yet, I can make this work out. So I'll summon this thing as the last monster I have available. And then, let's see. I thought you said to gain 500 when he tributed. Well, no, he, that was just the summoning condition. Oh. Let's see. Now you During can do each that. each of my standby phases, get free stuff out. And, uh, let's see, in defense position, you can tribute one of the fire until the end phase. Ooh, okay, so I think I can only do that on my own turn, so this is not a uh, play with longevity, but once again, we can hit Daedalus and hope to knock it down. Yeah. But still there. Close that. duel, though. It's like, we've been a little back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Takes that down, but leaves you at the advantage. I definitely don't have the hand to take out Mobius here. I like this card, though. Just not great when you have two powerful monsters on the field. Yeah. I think I just normal summon the uh, unsha unshaven angler mm -hmm. and go for some attacks. Yeah. I don't know what can save me here. Um, actually, there's one card that might let me summon my Fire King. We'll see. Yeah. You know, I kind of miss these kind of duels, though, where it's not straightforward on who's winning. It's just who gets the right card at the right time. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Oh, wait, no, uh, this does something in the graveyard. Oh, well, helps a little, I suppose. Did you get the Oh, instead of doing a normal draw, that's how that goes. Yikes. All right, well, what can I do now? That probably could have been timed a little better to get that extra summon you needed. Yeah. Hmm. So that can't really do anything else. Uh, this I can special summon and get a little something else out. Okay. Yeah, I think I have a play. It's a desperate play, but hey, that's that's where we're living right now. So we'll banish this from the graveyard to special summon this boy. Spirit of Flames. It's been so long since I've seen that card. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to... Yeah, we're going to... Wait, no, we can just do this. What am I talking about? We can just do this play straight up. There he is. Yeah. Alright, and since I am more threatened by the idea of you summoning a more powerful monster than me than I am of your Frost Monarch, I will kill the Angler. 
All right, now I just need a mod of card that can power up my, my water and depower your wa fire. Yeah, those cards exist, and I know higher level monsters exist to be Garunic, so. I don't. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get back my two monsters. Okay. Then I'm going to normal summon my tribe infecting ah, fire. Lovely. But I know this won't be a permanent solution because. Doesn't have to be. Did I misclick? You, you chose Aqua. I thought I hit Winged Beast. Oh boy. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, because I was about to say, you know, you just attack and then you win, duh. Didn't the tribe infecting virus also destroy himself or? Um, No, it's just in a lot of situations, you know, you select Warrior or whatever he is or Aqua or whatever he is. Um, let's see, discard a card from your hand. No, no, he doesn't destroy himself. You just expect him to die next turn, usually. Um, well... Okay. Yeah, obviously what Mario was afraid of is when Garunix is killed by card effect, he gets to come back. But I only have 2,700 life points, so he would have been able to finish the duel out. That being said... Yikes. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh yeah? Well, I got the seven colored fish. Be fearful, Zylo. Be very fearful. I am a little bit. Just because, obviously, there's probably a boost card in there somewhere. But that's fine. I have not seen a single boost card. Ah. Uh, fair enough. Let's see. Yeah, let's go to battle. No, no. See what happens. Still no normal summon monsters. I mean, I only got one card in my hand, so... I will end my turn. Actually... Yee. Yeah. Spirit to Fire Art, I destroy the Runics. Burn you for the rest. You know what the worst part is? I was saving, I had a Torrential Tribute again. And <laughs> I, I could have proxed it on Seven Colored Fish, but it wouldn't have finished you off. So what I was hoping was, you I was hoping. Trying to yeah, take even more away from me, you got greedy. I got a little greedy, I needed to because I wouldn't have been able to finish you off and he would have came right back and finished me off. Yep, fair enough. Okay, uh, go second again. Alright. Jeez. I'm pretty sure there's one copy of this in the deck. Are you... <laughs> it's not the fantastic card, but hey, I will accept it with open arms every time. What was it? I think it was Boat in the Roleplay that used that card. At... Actually, it... speaking of consistency, every time, Flame Tiger and Burden of the Mighty, every time. Um, I think there's only one copies of each. <laughs> Might be. There's gonna be an extra flame tiger, I don't know. But there's that. Alright. How come Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness? Normally powerful. Yep. Normally uh, powerful. Normally you're strong enough to match me. Now, with the burden, a little too mighty. A little too mighty. Alright, that could be a good backup plan. Let's see. Yeah, we attack. Or is this guy going to be any good? Let's see. Eh, at risk of getting torrential tributed. You deserve it. No, oh, Nanny doesn't have it this time, naturally. I wish. Alright, Flambell Fire Dog. Let's go for an attack. Because he gets a bonus when he kills something. Gravity bonus. <laughs> when in doubt, lock us all down. Yeah. Alright. Definitely seems like you have more uh, spell destruction, so you get to dictate when the gravity bind lets up. But if yeah. I get my card that does the burn, I can get around it. So we both have tools to get around this situation. Let's see. When this card's normal summoned, no trap cards can be activated. Is that just while he's on the field, or just when he's normal summoned? Uh, when he's normal summoned? Yeah, I was assuming. Because so that'd be really OP if that was not the case. I mean, oh. it's a it's a low level Jinzo at that point. Yeah. All right, I will end my turn. <laughs> All right. Now let's uh, tribute you away, for, for Mobius the Frost Monarch. Ah, again, very nice. Get rid of my own gravity bind, but also get rid of Burden of the Mighty. 
Okay. Hopefully that's the only burden of the mighty have to deal with you. Yeah. You're consistently getting rid of it, so it's good for you. And get rid of the dog. Alright, now let's see. You're trying to get rid of the dog, huh? Yeah. And the dog is a beast, correct? Fire beast? Yeah. Horn of the Phantom Beast. Are you... Oh wait, maybe this can stop it. No, the gravity behind! Yeah. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Just stop your own attack. Well done. I don't like that I had to use it this quick, but yeah. <sighs> Lucky I had that on the field, man. <laughs> Alright. I don't know if you have any spell destruction in your deck. I don't know if I do. Okay. Say anything. If you choose this deck during the uh, tournament, you're going to have stall power. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. What a monster is that? I guess that's just another card to set. And my turn. Way to do. <laughs> I wish I had saved Horn of the Phantom Beast so I could put it on level 3. I could dominate the field right now, but... Nope. That would have been such a big play, too, because I would have gotten to summon a monster off your attack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, end. Okay. I was kind of scared that that uh, even though that gravity bind wasn't going to stop the attack, in all honesty, and it was just going to go through. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll just... Wait on all that. Yeah, we'll give it another turn. I think I do have one thing that can make a move, but I want to try to get Ooh. into a spot where I can take an advantage first. Oh, that's of course good for you. Very good. For one specific reason. Mm -hmm. Daedalus. Uh I have to get rid of it. Hand destruction. We dip Daedalus out of here. Are you... <clears throat> I was so close to using that on Gravity Bind, but now the stall continues. All right. <laughs> I, I <had> <laughs> that's literally what I threatened to do. I was like, next turn, if I try, maybe I can make the move. Um, but <laughs> it is what it is. You would have put Gravity Bind on the top. Yeah, just so I could get an opening to come in at you, clear your field. But you before. knew it was coming. <laughs> I, I didn't know it was coming. I just wanted to make sure I was at a good advantage before I wasted my one shot at the uh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. And, mm -hmm. well, good thing I waited. Well, luckily it's back on the top of the deck. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't use my quick plays. Yikes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Shouldn't have set. Oh well. Daedalus, attack. We'll see if I can, uh, draw a monster. Actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> this will be funny. Um, what we could just. Do you do have another Burden of the Mighty? No, I don't. I have something much, much worse. What? Do you, what the, what's worse than Burden of the Mighty in your deck? I start with rekindling. Creature swap. Okay. I hate this. I hate this so much. And it's a permanent thing too. Yep. I can't just wait to get this back at the end of the turn, no. Mm -hmm. The reason I was like thinking this is so clever is because I the monsters banished at the end of the turn anyway, but I might as well just attack it and get the 700 points of damage. <laughs> The funniest part, you can't play Umi with when I still have Daedalus, or else I can pop your Umi. Uh, no, it's an Umi you control. Oh, you control. Okay, darn it. Fair enough. <laughs> that would have been funny. Oh, no, reload. Speaking of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's for the 100 attack points. Well, I think we know what deck, what structure deck is better than the other. <laughs> Yeah, at least this matchup, how it goes down. Yeah, you just have the overwhelming power. I have to stall power, mm -hmm. and I have to field clear, but... Yeah, as long as I hit you with the right utility at the right time, it can definitely, you know, as long as I'm patient enough to weather the stall, avoid the field clear. 
then yeah. this deck can beat it. Because just power against power, straight hits against straight hits, monster consistency versus monster consistency. Looks yeah. like the fire's taking it. Yeah. Hate that the deck gave me this now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what the funny thing is? Daedalus used to be my favorite all-time card to use back then, back in elementary. Because oh, wow. he was the strongest card I had. So. Okay. He was my favorite card to use. One well, of your favorite cards about to beat you. Oh, my old favorite. <laughs> yeah, Colossal true. Fighter is. Colossal Fighter will always hold that place. Mm -hmm. So is that. And now... Daedalus, destroy the uh, Fury from the Deep Deck. <laughs> Ta-da. Right. Fire beat water. To be fair, with the Chimera card, um, it did give me a little bit of an advantage. Like, the moment I brought that out, that swung the duel so hard. And that was off a yeah. UFO turtle play. Yeah. That was marvelous. So, and if you guys want to see more structure deck battles, let us know. If there's any structure decks that you know of that you want to see us take head-to-head, -head, feel free to suggest those in the comments down below, and we'll see if we can make it happen. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.